Hey guys, so this your girl. I had to do this over voice because there was music playing in the background. I didn't realize it. So I wanted to come on and show y'all. I finally got my MOX cream. And um, so I wanted to come on and show y'all how it worked. Did it work? So as you see, i getting everything set up. I put my gloves on. I got the cream. I got my design cut out and instructions is when you apply it, you apply a thick layer. So, so in each cut out, I'm applying some of the cream in it and you want to do a nice thick layer in each design. Well, I won't say design because it's a whole design, but in each cut out and I'm taking my time because you want to put it inside the design. You don't want to get too many splashes or get any splash really at all on the glass because then you're going to have that, them splashes turn, like bedded into your glass. So, um, I got it off of Amazon for $10. Is it worth it? We're going to see if it's worth it. Me, myself, I think it's okay. So, you see, I'm just going back over to make sure that I have a nice thick layer on it because as I was doing it then I realized that I didn't have a thick layer on it. So now I'm setting it down because the direction the direction says you put a thick layer on, then you let it sit for one to three minutes, then you rinse it off. It doesn't say cold water, warm water, hot water, so hey, go figure, we're gonna go with the lukewarm water. So I'm just letting it um sit for a few minutes and then you're gonna um so now i'm i'm kind of reading the directions even though i kind of read the directions but i just kind of browse through it real quick because you all know as we all know we think we learn everything from youtube youtube taught me everything right that's how we always say oh i learned it from youtube youtube taught me everything youtube is the goat youtube is the goat so i'm picking it up i'm looking i'm like okay so, like I said, YouTube taught me everything. So, what I'm doing now is I'm taking the cream that's off because I've seen the people do it. They say you can take the cream back off and put it back inside the glass. And that's what you see. So, now I get up. I'm going to go and I'm rinsing all the cream off. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you have your gloves on. You have some um, plastic gloves, rubber gloves, whatever. You want your gloves on. Because you don't want to get the cream on your hand. So now I've rinsed it off. So I'm just patting it dry. Just giving it a nice pat and dry. And as you see in the beginning of the video, I have in the little the little um top or to the side, I had put a little of the mica powder into it because I wanted to give the glass, I wanted to give it like color. So I was thinking like, okay, well maybe... I should have put it on at the beginning and then put the cream on and the cream would have made it in in better's inside. So that's what I was thinking, but I didn't do it. So I said, you know what? I did the first layer, so I'm like, okay, let me go. As you see, I'm putting the, the powder all through the um cutout. I'm just now you see I'm just wiping away all the little dust that that sprinkle all over the glass as I'm doing it. Because like I said, you don't want no splatters all over your glass because then that's going to mess up your glass. So now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do it for the second time. So I'm going to do the second coat using a, the Emma X cream. So yeah, the Emma X cream is pretty, it's, it's pretty cool. Me, myself, I like it. It's beautiful. But I think that it's more for, um... When I'm going to use it for, I think I will use it more for if I'm going to do like a uh, uh, special type, special occasion type, like uh, maybe a bridal shower, bachelor party, um, or, or maybe like um, something you want to give to like, like um, engrave like to a, a guy, your husband, your brother, you know, something like that. Like you might want to get like the big bottle. Uh, like a big bottle of whiskey with the, the matching um, whiskey glasses or shot glasses. And, you know, you might want to put 
the initial on it or something like that. Cause it, you know, to me, it's it's more for that type of um thing than more just to constantly just make those type of glasses. It's it's pretty, and I like it. So um, that's that's just my thought on it, and I want y'all to tell me what y'all think about it. Cause I don't know, that's just my thought. So while I'm sitting here, while we're waiting, guys. So while we waiting, we just gonna um tidy up. So I, I put the powder back, the leftover powder back in, put the top on. So like I'm saying, I put the powder back in while we waiting to um, rinse it off. And as, you know, we waiting, like I said, you seen I was reading the directions and it says on the bottle, it says one to three minutes. But every video that I've seen, it tells me to let it sit for at least 15 minutes. So I just went by what the bottle says. So the next time we're going to do it again and we're going to do what the other youtuber said let it um sit for 15 minutes you always y'all know we always say youtube teachers we learn from youtube so i'm just trying to um put something in so you can actually see the design like the i guess the light from the the camera you couldn't see it but now i'm trying to show it to you as best as i can so you can really see it it's beautiful this is something when you want to make like a gift as I was saying before, like, for, like, um, a bridal shower, like, you know, somebody getting engaged, you know, like, something personal, like, it's more of a, of a, um, type of, um, glass that you want to make when you want to do something, like, upscale. So, it's pretty, it's really pretty, guys. The, the camera's not doing justice, so I will try to put some pictures to at the end so you can really, really see it. Um, like I said, I wish I can get some color, but we'll figure that out. Because I've seen other people use the paint afterward, but I don't want to use no paint. Because I think paint a little, a make it look tacky. it would take that elegant away from the glass. So, it did come out cute. And as I'm, what I'm trying to point to you from the way I had my, um, vinyl on, a little bit of it did leak. So, I had a little couple of splashes, but you really can't tell. So you definitely, definitely have to be careful when you're putting it, applying your vinyl down on your glass. Make sure that you put it on very good. It's neat. It's no, um, I'm not going to say it's, it's, it's down to the fact because you don't want nothing leaking up under it. But as you see, I'm trying to show you, it's really pretty, guys. It's definitely pretty, but like I said, it's not something that you do for everybody. And everybody might not appreciate it, some will. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this. So until the next video, y'all stay safe, stay blessed. I love you guys. Later. All right, guys. So here's the after the um, video. Here's the picture, the little something. So I hope you enjoyed this little part. This a little extra. But here's the glass. I just want you to kind of see it. Um, yeah, guys, it came out pretty good. So um. We're going to try another one. We're going to let it sit for like the whole 15 minutes or even a little longer. As they say, the longer the better. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Love you guys. Later. I appreciate you.